Welcome to section 22 of the parasites. This is our overview figure showing the parasites you need to know for step one. In this lecture, we will be talking about the next cestode, or tapeworm, Diphylobothrium latum, which you can see right here. Our story takes place in a small prison of this evil villain. You can see that there's a sign here that says, dive for a bath. With this sign, he lures innocent victims only wanting a bath. Instead, he traps them. This sign stands for Diphylobothrium latum, so dive for a bath for Diphylobothrium. He's a creepy dude and likes to tape worms onto the upper part of the prison cell. In fact, he counts his victims using these taped worms. Well, these taped worms represent tapeworms, another name for cestode. And his current victim is this former basketball star, Kobe Bryant. You can see his Lakers jersey and everything. Poor guy just wanted a bath. Anyways, Kobe Bryant sounds like cobalamin, or B12, which is the recurring symbol for B12, as you may recall from our biochemistry image mnemonics. The presence of Diphylobothrium in the GI tract prevents B12, cobalamin, from being absorbed appropriately, so infected patients can develop a B12 deficiency. So, Kobe Bryant low in the prison cell for cobalamin is low. Now, B12 deficiency can cause megaloblastic anemia. We like to use this moon here to help you remember megaloblastic anemia, a symbol we used in the biochemistry image regarding B12. As you can see, poor Kobe Bryant is stuck in the pit with a bunch of stagnant water and dead fish. This villain has no incentive to keep a clean, dry pit. After all, he doesn't go down there. Anyways, these freshwater fish are dead and have larvae swarming their dead bodies. This represents the larvae of undercooked freshwater fish. And it's through the ingestion of these larvae in fish that Diphylobothrium latum is transmitted. And a good treatment for Diphylobothrium is praziquantel. And you can see this villain tossing down a morsel of food in the form of a pretzel. He wants to keep his victim well fed. So pretzel for praziquantel. Now that we've discussed the image, let's review with a question. An eight-year-old girl presents to the physician due to a two-month history of worsening fatigue. Physical examination reveals conjunctival pallor. Blood tests are performed, which reveal a hemoglobin of 9.4 grams per deciliter and a mean corpuscular volume of 108 femtoliters. After thorough evaluation, the physician prescribes praziquantel. Based on the causal organism, which of the following is a true statement? A. Transmission occurred through uncooked pork. B. Cobalamin levels are likely elevated. C. Anaphylaxis may result from cyst rupture, or D, transmission occurred through the ingestion of larvae. Hopefully from the question stem, you notice that the infectious organism is Diphylobothrium latum, a tapeworm. The patient has anemia based on the low hemoglobin level, and the anemia is a macrocytic type since we see a high MCV, which is 108 in this case. Plus, we see evidence of anemia with chronic fatigue and conjunctival pallor. Lastly, we think the macrocytic anemia is caused by a parasite because the physician prescribed praziquantel to fix the underlying issue. And which parasite causes macrocytic anemia? Diphylobothrium latum. With that in mind, the correct answer is choice D. Transmission occurred through the ingestion of larvae. Recall that this moon up here represents megaloblastic anemia, and Kobe Bryant low in the pit represents low B12, or low cobalamin. And these fish here represent transmission through larvae found in undercooked freshwater fish. Now, A is incorrect, because Diphylobothrium latum is transmitted through ingestion of larvae from uncooked fish, not pork. Uncooked pork can transmit other things, such as Tania solium, which is a different type of tapeworm. And B is incorrect because cobalamin levels will be low in this patient, not high. Remember that Kobe Bryant is at the bottom of the pit. Finally, C is incorrect because this makes reference to the hydated cysts in Echinococcus granulosus, a different type of tapeworm. And that should be all you need to know about Diphylobothrium latum.